up my fish friends today we back in the fish room and always thank you guys for coming back and checking out my videos today in the fish room we got some new fish um, that i'm super excited about that i want to show you guys and we also picked up some house plants that we're going to be adding to the aquariums um, it's similar to pothos it's not pothos but it's similar to it it does the same thing uh, sucks nitrates and things ammonia and things like that out the water so i picked up a few of those plants and we're gonna go ahead and add those and then i'm just gonna show you guys around to the room because i'm sure it's always new people that's finding the channel so i like to at least show the room show what's going on and we got a little update on the baby fish um, that i got in the pond and i got a little update on a new rack system that i put together today so it's gonna be a pretty interesting video got a lot of stuff going on so sit back relax and enjoy the video like I said, today I went ahead and picked up some new fish. Um, I got some beautiful rainbow fish. I'm going to show you guys here real soon. I'll pick up the camera and I'll go show you guys what they look like. I already got them put in the tank. I didn't record picking them up or anything like that. I just went ahead and put them in the tank and get them situated. So I will show them to you really soon. But we got some beautiful Australian rainbow fish. Been wanting to keep those guys for a while. So I'm super excited about that. Um, we also picked up some plants. Let me go get these plants so you guys can see what's going on all right so we picked up these plants today these are just some regular house plants that you can get anywhere i got them at like a local store i think i paid like three bucks for these i think it's about three bucks i'm not exactly sure what the name is. they start with an h i probably should have uh, got the name but I didn't, so I apologize to you guys, so I can't tell you. But they're not pothos. You can use pothos. You can do, use a lot of different um, house plants. But these plants, I was told by the guy, do the same thing. Most people use these plants in, like, uh, the bed of vases and things like that. So that's what these are for. So what I'm going to pretty much do is clean these off a little bit, and then I'm going to start adding them to some tanks. I'm not exactly sure which tank I'm going to add it to. I just want to try them out. Anyways, the pothos that I got upstairs just like grows like crazy and eventually I'm gonna move it down here So it can just take over this whole fish room eventually, but that's why I went ahead and got these to see if that can um, Get a little jump start. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean these up first And then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what they look like once they all clean pretty much far as clean I'm not gonna record cleaning, but I can just tell you guys how to do it um, just take them out the pots and make sure you clean the roots really good. Make sure the roots are clean really, really good. Get all the dirt, any mites, anything that could be living on there. Make sure you wash the roots really, really good before you try to add them to your aquarium. But that's pretty much it. Clean the roots really good, and then you can add them to your aquarium. So I'm gonna go do that upstairs, and I rinsed all these out. I'm just get a, a cup in my hand so you guys can see and get a little close up on them. But yeah, I went and cleaned all the roots off of them best I can. I just dropped one. I will suggest, though, if you're going to be doing this, make sure you don't make a mess. <laughs> and Because uh, I didn't make a mess because I was playing. But make sure you got everything situated. Do it outside or do it somewhere. And make sure you just don't make a mess because all that mud will get everywhere. So I pretty much wash mine out in the bathtub. You can wash yours out outside in the bathtub or sink. Whatever works for you, you know. But they came out pretty good. So what I'm going to do now pretty much is... I'm gonna go around and put them in each tank. And then, cause I got quite a few actually, cause I was sitting here looking at them. I'm like, cause they broke, it's kind of remind me of Crips, how the Crips just like break off. So I got a bunch of them, little ones that I can just put in each tank pretty much. And then it's gonna suck out the nitrates and make it look good, make it, you know, look better down here and give it some life. So that's what I'm finna do. Some of these gonna go into the back of my filters that I have hang on the backs. And then some of them are just gonna sit into the tanks and float. And I'm just going to put the ropes in. So pretty much what I'm going to do is go around and do that. And then I'll come show you guys how it looks. Guys, so we finally got all the plants into the tank. I'm going to go around and show you where I put some at. So you guys can see. So I got one right here that's sitting inside this. Hang on a back filter. This one should really take off really good, actually. Because it's sitting inside the hang on the back. So it's going to be sucking out all that bad bacteria, all that stuff. It's super nasty right now because I was pushing it down. So everything released out the filter, so that tank's pretty nasty right now. But I added to this tank here. You can see I got it sticking down in here. This tank here got one sticking down in here, which is eventually, let me get this bag out the way. Eventually they all gonna just grow crazy and it should just be taking over this whole area. I also put one right here. 
which you should get some good light from that light over there. So that should, these should grow pretty good. This one over here, sitting inside this filter right here, looking real good, real nice. Let's see what other ones I did. Oh yeah, I added one here for this tank right here, and then one for the flower horn tank too. So hopefully, uh, they barely in there because I was having a, some of these tanks it was harder to get in than some of them wasn't because it really wasn't much for it to like sit on unless it was just gonna fall in the water. So. And these, and these leaves are not supposed to be submerged. They're supposed to stay out the water, just submerge the roots. So pretty much I got it sitting like that where the roots are in. And hopefully, I know it's going to, but hopefully it's going to just grow crazy all over here in due time. I added one over here to the angel tank. Well, it's not necessarily an angel tank no more, but I added one here inside this hang on the back. And then there's one back behind this tank here. Probably need to adjust this one a little bit better, get the roots in a little deeper on that one. But I'll come back to that. I added one over here to this pond that I'm gonna come back to in a second we're gonna talk about. And then I added one over here to this little hang on the back filter thing that I got going on. Put the water pumps from here into the filter and then it come out. This filter's not actually running. I'm just got a sump pump that's pumping into it and it's like just some uh, filter floss in there. So I added the, pretty much the bulk of the plant in here. This is like the main part of the plant. So I add that in here. Hopefully this is just like suck out so much nitrates out of this pond and make the pond just even more cleaner and crystal clear as it should be. And that should just grow crazy. Like I'm excited to see what these plants gonna do. And probably like a month from now, it's gonna be crazy. Just watch. I also added one up here. that's kind of sitting by this light that I just set up to start using for filming. So that way it's a little bit brighter down here for you guys. But I got this one sticking in this tank right here. Can't show y'all this tank because this is where the rainbows are, but we're going to get to that here at, towards the end of the video. It's dark over here, but you can see I added one into the Oscar tank, also into this hang on the back. So that should really help suck out the nitrates out of this water because there's no plants in this water at all. There's nothing that's really sucking out the nitrates and ammonia out of this tank. So that should really take off really soon i didn't add anything to this tank because it's just already super lush with plants and i took out a big bunch of hornwood out here today to put into the ponds and i got some new ponds today i'm gonna talk to you about in a couple days tell you about them but this don't need it but the rest of the tanks are pretty much set ready to go oh i think i added one to this guppy tank down here which the light is off because i unplugged it but added one down into that guppy tank so i still got a couple tanks that don't have them that could use them, but we're gonna just see how it works. And then with how these plants work anyways, once they start to grow crazy, it's going to just, it's gonna go crazy. And then I can just always snip them off and put them in other tanks. Um, so that's probably what I end up doing. But these tanks, like this one right here, cause it's a light that sits right here, kind of like the main light of the basement. So this, this one right here should just grow crazy. And then this one, same here, they should grow crazy over here. So super excited about that. Can't wait to see that produce. But the next thing that's going on, I'll show y'all this picture I got today. I got this new picture today that's going to be sitting right here on this wall. I need to hang it up. But that's a pretty cool picture. Got some nice colors, nice sea. It just looked nice. So it's going to be a nice little another picture to have down here on the uh, wall when you walk down here to the fish room. And you guys can send me pictures too. I might make a pill box just so you guys can send me some pictures if y'all want to put stuff up on the walls and stuff just to make it look more better down here. We might start doing that. I might make a pill box for that. But that's pretty much it oh what else i got going on? i gotta talk about the uh, let's talk about this first so the pond i had did a little bit of a rescape not much i just took out the pots that was in there and that's going to free up more space for these fish but i just repotted some of these uh pots with some hornwort and stuff like that and then i added these little um circular pebbles in there and then, uh, like I said, I added the little house plant, so that should go crazy. Then I want to get like some pots for like right here to kind of like, I don't know, grow like some house plants or something out of it. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. But I want to give you guys a little update on the babies. As you can see, we still got some babies who got um, their egg yolk, but we also have some swimmers in there. Got some good wigglers in there. So these guys just pretty much morphed them today into that. So I'm, I'm super happy about that. So probably another day or so I can release. Well, hopefully, really, I'm just waiting for these other ones who got the eggs on them. Wait for them to re get out of that stage and get into the wiggler stage. And once they get into the wiggler stage, I'll just release all the fish into here. 
but right now they're just chilling right here and it's working you know super awesome but let's get into what the title and thumbnail was let's talk about these new fish i got today man so today we picked up some beautiful australian rainbows it's a nice male right here so i picked up these guys from a local store i didn't record or anything i should have but i didn't um, but i was just walked in just to check on some stuff and i seen they had these and i was like you know let me go ahead and pick them up they don't really have much color yet that male there's two males i know for sure i got two males i think there's one there and then there's one back there and i'm not sure about the other ones i just told him to give me those two males for sure and I just give me three more so i got five of those and they're going to be going into this 10 gallon aquarium where well, that's where they at and they're just being here for a while and i'm gonna treat them according to because the place i got them from not the best as far as fish wise so i'm gonna go ahead and treat them treat them for some diseases and pretty much have them in here by themselves in quarantine for a while but i'm super excited about this fish hopefully we can uh, talk more about them this is actually my first time keeping rainbow fish to be honest and these guys are australian rainbows so i'm not too familiar with the rainbow species and everything i know i know about the bosmani rainbows and that's about it so when i seen these guys i seen these males are looking really good they're not colored up just yet but i'm sure they're gonna color up soon when i seen that male was looking really good different and i got these guys for cheap there was only about maybe like three bucks a piece so i thought that was a good deal for these fish and it just gives us another tank and another species to talk about so that's awesome super excited about that let me know in the comment section have you guys kept these fish do you have them um you know just give me some suggestions they're in really good condition right now but i'm still going to treat them just to make sure make sure they're all right but the next thing we're going to talk about is these rack system actually the one i just left from but we're going to go ahead and talk about this one first so this tank this system right here like you guys seen this 20 gallon that sits up here it's got these um electro blue johannes in here for the people who haven't seen these fish got the electro blue johannes in here and then we got two 10 gallons here so pretty much what i'm gonna do my plan going forward is i have a, a lot of tanks right some of my tanks are for breeding and some of my tanks are for show some of my tanks are just for fun and experiments and these this rack system over here is going to be for pretty much species profile so each tank is going to be a different species of fish that you guys want me to get or a fish that i want to keep and it's going to be species only tanks and we're going to be able to talk about them and show different things and show you guys how to set these tanks up and how to just get them ready for that particular fish so that's what this rack system is going to be i'm going to keep these guys up here for breeding purposes and you know they they might move who knows I, my mind always changes so they might move out of here who knows but that's what these two tanks are going to be for and then back here uh, pretty much where the rainbows are that's what this system is i just kind of built this up if you guys remember if you watched my recent videos it was all right here i had all this set up and then we got the hundred gallon over here and so all this was different the tanks was like right here so today i moved even more stuff and i moved this, this 10 gallon rack here i kind of built something so i got three tins right here so the first tank we pretty much working on is this rainbow tank here is going to have this species of rainbows in here and then we'll have a species here and a species down there so that's pretty much what these 10 gallons are going to be for different species of fish that we can um talk about breed out and you know and have fun that's pretty much it experiment and do different things and try different scapes and and see what's going on this 10 gallon back here uh, that's housing some baby guppies they're gonna be going outside then that 10 gallon also will be used for same thing an experiment a species so let me know what type of species you guys want me to get they're 10 gallon tanks so they're gonna have to be like nano type fish um, but it also gives us the opportunity to really analyze these fish in, in a small space and see how they work and and do a lot of science with them so that's what i want to do with these tanks here so that's pretty much it what's going on today we got the pothos plants we built new racks the hundred gallon is going to be getting set up real soon so stay tuned for that um it's a process you know i want to do it the right way i don't just want to just put it together uh, i want to do it the right way but as you can see the clown knife he's doing good healthy his skin he was in bad shape when i got him his skin was all scratched up so he's looking really good healthy excited about that oscar's looking really good 
and healthy. That's always a plus. Everything else is pretty much the same. Um, these tanks are always doing amazing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you guys what's going on in the fish room today when I got it planned. You know, I always like to give you guys updates on the new things that I'm changing. Because every, every day there's something new going on. Every day I'm thinking about the next project, the next fish, the next something. So I haven't really been able to talk about this tank much. I mean, I've talked about it, but not to the point where we've done much species talk about it. Because it's really not that exciting just yet. That's why I said in my last video, we're going to be changing that around. Because that tank is it's kind of boring, if you ask me. You know, it looks boring. It's cool for the plecos, but other than that, it's, it's, a, it's a boring tank. And a lot of these tanks are get boring to me very fast. So if it seems like I'm always changing things and always doing something different, it's because I get bored with it. And that's the whole fun of uh, fish keeping is to enjoy the tanks, experiment. As long as you're not killing your fish, you know, you can experiment with different tanks and different things like that and have fun with it. That's what the hobby is about. I'm scaring all the fish right now. I'm trying to show them to you guys, but I'm scaring them all. These guys are out right now. These Kenyans looking real good. So yep, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, if you did, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content because you guys already know the grind don't stop. I'm gonna keep bringing this fire content for you guys. Keep dropping these bangers. Keep giving you guys these updates on the fish room and keep it entertaining. So I appreciate all the people that support me that um, been here since the beginning, that's continuing to stay here. I appreciate all you guys. You just you really don't understand how much I appreciate you guys. And uh, we're going to keep going up. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, let your friends and family know about us. Let them know we uh, the dopest family on YouTube when it comes to the fish. So I'm out of here.